<laughs> and good morning to you, Internet. This is Mark Franklin Williams here with... Paul Prado. Hi. How's it going, guys? Today we are going to be cooking you a delicious breakfast. Paul is apparently okay. I'm not sure what's going on back there, but I'm very okay. Cool. Uh, today we are going to be making a delicious uh, breakfast hash potato type deal thing. Uh, so right now Paul has the potatoes live on the hot plate. Yeah, show yeah. that. That's beautiful. Uh, we got that started early because potatoes take forever to warm up. So while Paul is working on that, I am going to start chopping some ham over here, and Paul will regale you with a tale from his adventures. Sure. So you guys may have missed me the last couple weeks. Um, I've been on some incredible journeys. A few weeks ago, I left for Santa Cruz to meet my girlfriend's parents, and what a joy that was. Quite a handful. Like every girlfriend's parents, they're going to be a handful, but it doesn't mean they're not great people. The second trip I took was to New Orleans for about two days. A good friend of mine, Alex, had a barbecue in New Orleans, and so my buddy and I decided to go pay him a little visit. Immediately after I went to New Orleans, I caught a red-eye to Indianapolis, to the Indianapolis Film Festival, where my documentary that I produced and co-edited with my good friend Mike James from Five Second Films... It was called Open Mic Night After the Apocalypse. We went to the film festival, had a sold out screening. It was phenomenal. And so, during that time, you got plenty of sleep. I did. I got, I'm well rested, actually. <laughs> the red eyes were a little tough, but I did take a lot of naps. What I'd love to hear about, if you commenters are active and watching, I would love to find out what you guys were up to in the last couple weekends, because I've been gone. Have you guys been going on camping trips? Have you guys been going canoeing, rafting? Have you guys been going uh, wakeboarding, water skiing? What's up? Let me check in with Kim over at the comments board. Kim, what are people saying right now? I like trains. <laughs> nice. I, I like trains too. You know what I like? The trains that go choo-choo. Yes, trains that go choo-choo are great. Yeah. The trains that don't go choo-choo, like when guys are running a train, that doesn't go choo-choo, <laughs> and in fact, you may want to call your local law enforcement if you ever hear about that. Honestly, one of the things I do want to do that's on like my uh, bucket list is ride the Shinkansen, the high-speed rail in Japan. We're actually going to get one of those here. Oh, yeah. California high-speed rail. Oh, we're getting one of those? LA to San Fran in like two hours. That's what I'm talking about. I want to jump up in the middle of the train and end up in the back of the train. Now, I might hurt myself somehow, Yeah. but that is an awesome way to end up in the hospital. <laughs> Guys, Begley, there's one thing this recipe was missing. Now this recipe says, give me some potatoes, give me some ham, but it needs some hot dog. Let's get this Begley right here. Oh, this is an Asian potato. Is this for Begley? <laughs> it's funny because Kim can make that joke. <laughs> is this for Begley? Don't put him over the heat. Don't put him over the heat? But Bagley, what is that? What is that? Bagley says the heat is on. Oh, oh. Look at this Bagley. Look at this Bagley. He goes by President Wiggles now. So, Paul, you actually had an interesting story about Bagley, right? Yeah. I found Bagley. I found Bagley at the vet clinic on my first day of work. He had just been rescued. And Kim, our good friend, our producer, our mistress of ceremonies, she said, I've never had a dog. And I said, Begley will be perfect. I had a dog. I never had a puppy. He'll be so perfect. <laughs> Do you guys see how big his feet is? His feet. His feet is? As big as my nose. <laughs> Begley. Now, while Mark is chopping yeah. up the ham... Oh, what's up, Mark? I just queued me some ham. You ready? Yeah, but I think we need to throw some onions in there, right? Yeah, how many onions? All the onions. <laughs> oh. Don't drop them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
I tripped hard oh, on my knee. Baby. Do you want to bring the camera over so we can get some nice close up of this sweet onion into potato action? Here we go. All right, let's do this. We're moving slowly so we don't break Kim's computer. All right, yeah. Ready for this? It's gonna go slow. How many onions? Mm, I'm just dumping this whole thing in. Check this. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. So you put the onions in there with potatoes that were already starting to brown. We're just gonna mix them in and then essentially leave them alone for a little bit so we can get nice and fried. I think I might need some alone time with the food, my friends. Mmm, someone said that's already starting to look delicious. Yeah. It smells delicious. Well, we were just checking in with Mark. Let's see what Begley's doing. Oh, Begley's out. <laughs> Begley's Begley. Like peace. Begley. Begley's got shit to do. So here on Broke Eats, uh, one of the things we specialize in is animal behavior. Now, when you're cooking a great breakfast with your friends or loved ones and you want your pets nearby to share in this experience, there's only one word that is going to bring these pets to the table. See what that, Mark, what is that? That is ham. Now, you might be tempted to go get like some kind of fancy man ham that's like a whole hawk, but you can't afford that. So, get the nice little package ham. Is it as good or delicious or healthy or sweet or any of the above? No. Is it cheap? Yes. I got some. So, I want to get Begley back in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little piece of this. Mmm. See this? That's yeah. just enough for Begley. Let's walk, let's, let's call this Begley Cam. <laughs> Begley! Begley Cam. Begley. <laughs> yeah. He's a natural. Look at that star power. Begley thought the microphone was made of ham, so he tried <laughs> to eat that too. How are these potatoes looking? Those are looking good. Those are looking good. Mark, can you tell us how we know when the potatoes are done? So you're going to know the potatoes are done when they take on a nice golden brown color. We're getting close to that point, but we're not not there yet. And when we're con when we're cooking two things in the frying pan, well, three. We're cooking potatoes, yeah. onion, and ham. Mm -hmm. So how do we know what to put in the pan first? Well, the first thing you want to put in the pan is the thing that's going to take the longest. In this case, the potatoes. After that, we're going to add in the onions. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to turn off the heat for a little bit. Let it just sit. Let it get nice and good and get all that flavor in there. Then we'll throw in the ham, reheat, and we'll have ourselves a delicious hashi type thing. So can you, can you describe then in order which foods cook the longest? Well, the foods that cook the longest are usually kind of like the starchy foods. You know, things like potatoes. Uh, I can't come up with another starchy food off the top of my head. Squash? Squash, sure. Like those things tend to take Tubers? Over. Tubers. <laughs> Tuber! <laughs> Those things tend to take a while. The things that go really, really quickly are really thin foods. So things like uh, the onions, uh, celery, uh, vegetables of any kind, really. Those go like that. So you want to add those at the end of any process. And what about meat? Meat? Meat actually varies depending on the meat. So like a good piece of, let's say, steak. That's going to take a couple of minutes. That's going to be like, let's say, 10 minutes or so, you know? But something like uh, salmon or, you know, a thinner fish, that's going to fry up really quickly in like two minutes. And so what about this ham? This ham, this is actually pretty much kind of sort of pre-cooked. So we're really just going to be warming that up. So what does that mean, time-wise? Time-wise, that means we're going to add that in at the very end. We're going to add that in at the end, and then we're going to warm it for, let's say, about four to five minutes just to get it up to the right temp. SMBC Theater said, what about meat? said, what about meat? Yeah. You mean the question we just answered? Yeah, that we just handled. We kind of took care of that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, SNBC Theater. Begley. Your face is stupid. 
So yeah, at this point, honestly, we're just kind of waiting for this stuff to continue cooking all the way through. Mark, how was Comic-Con? Comic-Con was fucking amazing. Uh, I saw some Broke Eats fans down there. You guys were awesome. Thanks for coming by and saying hello. It really made our days. Uh, but it was great, you know? You walk around, see your fellow nerd. Uh, I don't remember all of Saturday night, but I do remember the face of a certain gentleman who just stepped into the room. Let's hear it for John Prince! Ah! What do you mean you don't remember Saturday night? I thought we had made the sweetest love that night. And yeah, clearly it didn't make that much of an impression. Guys, we're doing drunk cam for John Brent. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, last night I was with a bunch of otaku, and I may or may not have gotten pregnant. <laughs> so, you know what? I need something this morning to help my baby grow. What are we making? We, John Brent, are making a delicious breakfast hash type thing. Oh. So we're getting some potatoes Ooh. in there, some onions. We're going to throw in some ham. Parsley, salt, and pepper. This is fantastic. Very simple, very delicious. This is this is great. My baby will grow up big and strong. I have a feeling this like is you. good hangover food. I don't know why that just came to mind. It just. But this would be great because I definitely don't have a hangover. <laughs> oh, how is the chat doing? We don't even have the comments rolling here. John, uh, John, John, here's what I want to know. Um, I like trains. I heard some. <laughs> I heard some rumors that you are actually. The Tom Cruise of the anime community. And because you're the Tom Cruise of the anime community, you probably saw some amazing cosplay. In, uh, in the event last night? Or just in general? Comic-Con. Oh, Comic-Con. You yeah. better believe I saw some amazing cosplay. Do you have any pics? Oh, I have so many pics. On the phone. <laughs> Let's pull up some pics on the phone. So, so well, while John is looking up pics on the phone, I'll oh, tell yeah. you. We have asked John to look up the pictures of cosplay that he had to explain to his girlfriend. In other words, these may have been smoking hot women in costumes that made his fantasies run wild, but when his girlfriend typed in his passcode because she knows it, she said, who are all these girls? And he said, oh, I was taking a picture of the ugly contest. Here she is. <laughs> The problem is, with most of the people that cosplay at Comic-Con, they are my girlfriend's friends. So uh, the fact that I'm finding photos of her friends right. dressed as characters that I may or may not fat to. Right. Uh, it's it ruins it. It's it like, yeah, helpful. Exactly. Oh, bad. Yeah, what, so what you said. Exactly. Yeah, not a good it. thing. Good. So I made an article on Ogiku.com, of which both of us write on, and mm -hmm. Paul... You need to embrace your inner otaku and get writing on this site. I'm only going to write articles about GoldenEye 64 and how I see the players everywhere in my daily life. <laughs> mostly Natalia, and it's mostly this. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly she's too tall to make it through any of the maps. <laughs> Alright, okay, so let's load some photos here. Do we want super sexy, or do we want... No, 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 no. Mediocre let's sexy. Do, let's do both. Yeah, no, okay. it's early in the morning, so let's start mediocre and we'll okay. work our way. Well, well let's start with a, uh, a fan favorite. All right. Uh, let's get this loaded. So first up is a very voluptuous Harley Quinn. Uh, let's see if we can get this on there. There she is. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, she's in uh, point shoes. It's like a Harley ballerina. Mm -hmm. uh, and a Harley arena. She is ready to just... You know, as her gun says, bang, mm. the day away. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, wow. Yeah, it is. Uh, All right. Now let's there's go to a him. Mr. J joke in there. I don't have it, though. Oh, well, you know what? If 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 my girlfriend wanted to know what I was going to do all day, you could look at my gun, because I'll be shooting blanks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so next up, we have Star Trek bunnies. I don't know if we can get this clear. Oops. There it is. Oh, look at them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like the Playboy bunnies, except they're wearing Star Trek Which uniforms. one's the Uhura? I, I, let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. Boom. In a red suit. She's gonna die, if you're referring to oh, yeah, the red early shirt, episodes. Red shirt. Right? And then, of course, that canon is completely defeated as it goes on. All right, this is a fan favorite. Uh, I received a lot of messages about this one, and yes, it is me naked. Uh, let's get that loaded. How's that hangover cure happening? It is actually coming along well. I'm so excited about that. I think we might be at the point where we can lower the heat a little bit and get the rest of the ingredients in the bar. 
Okay, so this is, I think, one of Mark's favorites. It's Morgan from Darkstalkers. Yeah. Let's see if we can get her in there. Dark, what is Darkstalkers? She looks like a member of Alpha Flight. She is... What is Darkstalkers? Yeah, have you played that title? Oh, yes, I have, sir. <laughs> Darkstalkers is, is a fighting video game based off of various monsters' mythologies. Uh, so Morgan, specifically, is a succubus. <laughs> is it like... Which means what? You know, the, the, well, it's kind of there in the name, succubus. So. I'm just wondering so if, uh, if right that... There. Does that mean this is like Kingdom Hearts for adults, where they're, it's all the, the characters of porn in one video game? Pretty much. Speaking of porn, the sexiest Chewbacca you'll ever see in your life. Let's get her. Yeah. Let's get her lined up with this here. Chew no, dude. She's clearly a bounty hunter who made a bikini top out of a Wookiee she met. Oh no, that's horrible. I know. She Earth no, girls. She... Earth girls are terrible. Exactly. <laughs> Especially ones who are trying to get to be a part of the Mandalorian army and don't succeed. So they just have to kill all these for pleasure. Uh, what is, what is, do you like Mass Effect? Let's see. Let's show one more. Do you want a superhero? Do you want a video game character? Or a character from a motion picture? I would go show? superhero. Superhero. We haven't covered that yet. Okay, well let's find a good superhero here. And um, while he's finding that, Mark, why don't you tell us what happened in this pan real quick? Okay, so I essentially just hammed all over the pan. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so the potatoes and the onions, they were starting to finish up, so we're going to put the ham in here. We're going to let that brown a little bit, get warm. Uh, and then we're also going to add in some of our spices, our salt, our pepper, our oregano, and our parsley. So how, how much ham did we add? We added in, let's see, the entire package, which half I think was 10, 10 ounces, ounces, right? Yeah. The recipe called for half a pound. Does anybody know how many ounces in a pound? That's um, a lot of ounces. <laughs> okay, guys. Clearly no one was paying attention to middle school math. There are 16 ounces in a pound. We're writers. We don't do math. Yeah, I, I, what's math? Actually, I never received math after seventh grade. Mm -hmm. yeah, you was, never uh, received math? Like, no. math was a present to you? Yeah, it was just never, they never gave it to me. I kept saying, can I have some more? And they were like, no, no, screw you, John. Go into acting. Uh, and that never goes on to anything in your life. Alright, so, Mark's favorite superhero. Let's see, Supergirl. Yeah. Let's, in there. Well, let's try to get the focus. There she is. Oh, no, it's this reflection off this window. It's killing us. Anyhow, you can get the gist. It's a, uh, yeah. You can get the what? You can get the gist. Oh, I thought you said something else. You can get the, the cheese. <laughs> you can get the cheese. That's no Hell of Slater, though. I mean, come on. There's only one Supergirl. This is true. And I own Supergirl. And there is also only one, I believe this is a character from a uh, television show. What? Oh! Oh, I know who that is. That's from Venture Brothers. That's a Venture Brothers character? Boom. She, oh, they, that glare is killing us. What if yeah. we go... We go like this. Go away from, there we go. It'll focus. It'll focus. We'll focus. Let's go like this, and we'll go like that. Focus. There, there she, she is. is. Yeah, that's from Venture Brothers. Focus. It's trying. We're trying to give you fat material, Internet. Actually, you know what? If you want to see these photos, go over to ogiku.com. Tons of cosplay articles. Some photos mm. taken by our dear friend Kyle is here Kyle? as well. Kylie Kate. Kylie Kate. Wow, there's ham in this. Yes. Or is that turkey? Did, did you miss the Did you miss the hamming? I, I missed the ham. Okay, I do ham. Quiet. I was hamming all over these girls. I ham quiet. Uh, uh, so like I was saying. There we go. Uh, with the potatoes and the onions starting to get done, we threw in the ham. I also mm. added in a little pepper, mm. just a little bit of salt, not Ooh. too much. The ham has a lot of salt in it as is. Uh, some parsley and some oregano. It so, looks like we need more pepper. You want more pepper in there? Right? It looks like, I, I feel like the ham is a little too pink. Okay, okay, we can throw in some more pepper. Okay, we need a little kick. All right, all right. All right. So John wants some kick. I want which, some. Which is I'll... interesting. Because John usually fights against oh, the yeah, kick. Oh, yeah, I usually don't like kick. Share with Let's do it. Boom. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Perfect. So we added a whole lot of pepper there. Yeah, that's a couple more. Get rid of the weight of this. Go ask. Go ask. We're getting ready to go. Just ask. Uh, what's Just go going ask. on? Jacolia666. Okay. 
you're witnessing one of the finest breakfasts. Here, ever you take over this. I'll ask. I'll talk to the fans. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Brent, sitting here, well, standing here yeah, we with can. Mark Franklin we'll Williams. Yeah. We're making we're making a breakfast we're of pros. It, it seems like we should have some kind of like I'm walking honest. in the background right now. Oh yeah, you want to? Making breakfast. Having tails. With some croissants. Micro baconomics. There are puppies. On the fly. And Mark is taking the thumb. Yeah. You missed it. That was it. That was it. That was our song. I hope everybody enjoyed that. Funny enough, what you missed there was Begley actually started dancing with us. So that's true. He dances. He knows how to dance. That was great. He was two stepping. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that, Internet. That's the only time you'll see us sing on these broadcasts. That's a lot. That's not even close. So here's actually the truth. Oh, oh, get back to the dancing. Get back to the dancing. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 it's a, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Okay, so this just in. You guys see Kim here? Kim has a super hot roommate named Kristen, and her friend is also here and super hot. What's her name? Lauren. Kristen and Lauren are here. They're super hot. They're just waking up. And you know what? They're super hot girls. They get their drink on. They get their party on, just like us, because we're hot guys. Well, we get our we get our drink on by ourselves, because yeah. we're extra hot guys. Too yeah. hot for the club, so yeah. we don't go there. So we have to do it by ourselves at home in the corners of right. our room, right. in the dark, sobbing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my my penis is so hot. I'm afraid I'll burn girls' hands, so I have to touch it myself. Right. Of course. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, so what I was thinking is, since I love these two hot girls so much, we might take a plate of this hangover breakfast to the hot girls. This sounds great. You guys ready? Yeah. They're ready for us right now. Oh, wow. Well, we need to get it plated. Yeah, let's, let's get it plated. Get, okay, so let's get this all ready. We're going to need a, a transportation system with the laptop here. We need a person holding on the here laptop. Here you go. This and says, the the, oh, this is a cheese plate, and it, there's no cheese on it. It says Gouda, Edom, uh, Jarlsberg. Beaufort, cheddar, blue mozzarella. Don't forget my favorite, Asiago. Ah, uh, yes, Asiago. <laughs> All right, so before we move the food, let's get a nice shot of it, because we haven't got any good glamour shot of this, have we? There, so look let's at that. Let's add that in there. Look at that. Look well, how let's nice play just a little bit of it, and we'll yeah. get a glory shot right here. I mean, a glamour shot right here right. on the... The plate. Oh yeah, look make that look. Oh, okay, here I'll put it right here. There Rotate you. that shit. So oh, look at that. Ah. All right, we're gonna have to coordinate this transportation system so we. Mark can will film. grab the snowball. You grab the camera. Kim, grab the laptop. All right, we are traveling. Oh, right. wait, wait, wait. There's one thing. Being the guy, them being the girls. There's one thing I never get to do. And that's blow the girls' food. Blow the girls' food to cool it off for them. So what I'm going to do is just real quickly. You want me to put a finger up your butt or? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Kim, where's your hand? Uh, okay. It wasn't, it wasn't ready. Okay. So here is a fork. Well, you know what? Um, we'll put Kim in charge of forks. I'm carrying laptop. Oh, you're carrying laptop. Okay, you carry laptop. Right, just came in and I see a bloke talking about his penis being hot. Best cookery show yeah. ever. Just yes, so tiny sissy we'll cheater. Right you are on Broke Eats. Okay, Mark, grab the snowball. Kim, grab the laptop. I can grab the snowball. Okay, laptop. here we go. No, don't do both. You drop one. Team, teamwork. Team, guide. All right. Okay, guys. Make sure we're our shots are to We're going to see if this hangover did, breakfast. Did, did she agree to this? We're not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but it's like middle school prom. No means yes, and yes means yes. Let's do it. Kristen, lock your door if you don't know where you're going. Here we come. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I heard there was some hot girls in here who need a hangover breakfast. Is our shot good? Okay. All right, here we come. Here we come. Oh, wait, she's throwing some candy wrappers on the bed for reasons that escape me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, all right, here we go. Oh, here's what oh. I ate for breakfast. Well, let's see. <laughs> Oh, here we go. What did she eat for breakfast, What did you John? have for breakfast? I had a fully protein, because pants protein, isn't it? 
Butter. Yes, Reese's is so protein. <laughs> it's so one of the major food groups. Oh my god. Um, guys, I think what we've discovered is what a hot girl's den looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have here is a very comfy comforter. Right. <laughs> it looks Party like we have it. some remnants of Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> that was my protein. Yeah. That's her, that's her um, we have an iPhone, which you need. And then we have so many pieces of makeup. That I don't even know. So we had a we had an audience member write in to us and tell us this is one of the most perfect cures for a hangover. It is potatoes, grilled onions, and a little bit of ham. Do we have any vegetarians here? No. Because the hottest girls aren't vegetarians. Take note, internet. <laughs> That's so, like science or oh something. We, we are strictly meat eaters. Here is two forks. <laughs> And who is this over here, real quick? That's Eliza. Let's see. Eliza! Okay, take Eliza, away. come greet the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, guys. I'm gonna stay I'm so excited. This is the ultimate test. All right, get the taste in. Okay. Let's see. That's poison. You can't have any. It's poison. <laughs> you can't have any. I'm protecting you. That's really. It's better than racist. <laughs> <laughs> so Lauren said it's better than Reese's Pieces. That is high praise. Have you ever had Reese's Pieces? I don't feel so good anymore after those anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're just your Should we should we let Eliza sample a little bite or no? Nope. Can nope. she handle it? Uh, she wants it. But she's there Eliza, she goes. Eliza's Eliza's the hottest it. the hottest girl dog I've ever seen. <laughs> Look how hot she is. Is crazy. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 uh. day. <laughs> Okay. We're going to, you know the best cure to the hangover too? What's the best cure to the hangover? Start drinking again. <laughs> oh. So we're going to a winery. Oh, well, look at Eliza behaving herself. <laughs> Alright, you want to try this, Eliza? Okay, just for yeah. Eliza. Okay. Alright, just a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Stuff, you can cut for me anytime. Can you come to Tampa? <laughs> so, let me just, let me just ask. Mm -hmm. From the three hottest girls in this place, second only to Kim, Kim's the hottest. Kim's the hottest. But from, <laughs> from Lauren, Kristen, and Eliza. It's delicious. Yeah? Coming really from good. somebody that cooks from a microwave. Actually, I just do takeout. I do microwave. I was hoping you guys had like fun pills too. I'm like, what do you got? <laughs> oh, after all. My pills are over there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? Okay. All right, well, folks. Um, uh, we want to we say thank you to film. Lauren, right. Kristen, right. and to Eliza. Right. Is there anything you guys would like to say to the audience before thank we go? Thank you. I'm going to go demonstrate how to take a shower now. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, if if you were a, let's say you, you're a, a guy or a girl, Ooh, and you're, you're making this breakfast for your loved one, mm -hmm. and like maybe you've only been dating a couple weeks, a couple months, or even five years. Would you cook for guys? Yeah, would I you? Don't cook for what would would you cook this? <laughs> if it's easy, yeah. I'm it took us five minutes. Then yeah, I could totally do that. Mm. And would you recommend it? Yes. Would you cook it for me? I'll cook for you any day. Okay. I'll take her. <laughs> <laughs> we just won. All right, guys. All right, let's get it. Let's leave these hot girls to do what hot girls do. And I take th showers. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, my friends, that is. Actually, a good way. Notice how Paul has not followed us out of the <laughs> room. Go I'm just saying. saying. <laughs> so we have lost Paul, but I think that's a good way to close it out. So Sorry, from Richard. Paul Prado, Mark Franklin Williams, John Brents, Kim Arneson, I would like to say to y'all, thank you for tuning in for another Bro Keats Breakfast, and we'll see y'all next week. Here we are. Doodly, doodly, doodly. Okay.